Good morning, boys and girls. I hope you all had a great weekend. Okay, the weather was beautiful. I hope you got to go outside for a while. Um, today we're going to be going over all of our letters that we've learned so far, and then we're going to learn about our very last letter. Okay, do you remember what letter, you know what letter this is? This is the letter Z. Okay, and Z makes the Z sound like in zebra. We're going to be reading this book in a few minutes. Before we do that, let's go over all the letters we've learned so far. Okay, do you remember this letter? That's the letter A. All right, we have our capital A and our lowercase a, capital A for Ava. So the A has the A sound like an Ava or the A sound like an apple, an alligator, an astronaut. A is for apple, a, a, a. A is for apple, a, a, a. And what letter is this one? This is the letter B. We have our capital B for Benjamin and our lowercase b makes the b sound like Benjamin and balloon and ball and baby. B is for balloon, b, b, b. B is for balloon, b, b, b. And what letter is this one? This is the letter C. We have our capital C and our lowercase c. The C makes the k sound like cat and corn and candy and carrots. C is for cat, k, k, k. C is for cat, k, k, k. And how about this letter? This is the letter D. We have our capital D and our lowercase d. The D makes the d sound like dog and daddy and dinosaur. D is for dog, d, d, d. D is for dog, d, d, d. And you know this letter, remember that one? That's the letter E. We have our capital E for Evelyn and Esme and our lowercase e. The E has two sounds. The E sound like an eagle and Easter and the S sound like an egg, an elephant, an elevator. E is for egg, eh, eh, eh. E is for egg, eh, eh, eh. And what letter is this one? This is the letter F. We have our capital F and our lowercase f. The letter F makes the th sound like fan and feathers and fingers and french fries. And you remember this letter? This is the letter G. We have our capital G for God and our lowercase g. It makes the g sound like God and gate and girl. G is for gate, g, g, g. G is for gate, g, g, g. And how about this letter? Remember this letter? This is our letter H. We have our capital H and our lowercase h makes this sound. Remember, we don't use our voice. Like hat and heart and happy and hallelujah. Okay? H is for hat. H is for hat. And how about this letter? Remember this one? We have our letter I. We have our capital I for Ivana and our lowercase i. The i has the i sound like ice cream and ice skates or the is sound like iguana, Ivana, and igloo, and inside. I is for igloo, i, i, i. I is for igloo, i, i, i. Do you remember this letter? That's the letter J. Now usually we put a little hat on the J, but sometimes you'll see it without it. This is our capital J for Jason and Jesus, and our lowercase j. It makes the j sound. Now these are jacks, this is a toy. And what you would do is you would take these little star things, the jacks, and throw them down on the floor. You'd take the ball and you'd bounce the ball and then try to catch, see how many jacks you could pick up before, um, before you catch the ball. All right, so anyway, this is a toy. It's called jacks. And J also is for jam and jelly and jar. J is for jacks, j, j, j. J is for jacks, j, j, j. And do you remember this letter? That's the letter K. We have our capital K and lowercase k. The K also makes the k sound like the letter C. K is for key and kite and kangaroo and kitten. K is for key, k, k, k. K is for key, k, k, k. And do you remember this one? That's the letter L. We have our capital L and our lowercase l. Makes the o sound like lamp and lion and ladybug. L is for lamp, o, o, o. L is for lamp, o, o, o. And what about this letter? You remember that one? This is the letter M. We have our capital M and our lowercase m. 
and makes the mmm sound like Mary and Mommy and Monkey. M is for monkey, mm, mm, mm. M is for monkey, mm, mm, mm. And what about this letter? Remember that one? That's our capital N for Nico and Nicolette and Nono. And there's our lowercase n. Makes the n sound like nuts and necklace and newspaper. N is for nuts, mm, mm, mm. N is for nuts, mm, mm, mm. And do you remember this letter? Okay, this is our letter O. We have our capital O and our lowercase O. Remember the O uh, is shaped like a circle and the O has the O sound like an ocean or the A sound like an octopus. O is for octopus, ah, ah, ah. O is for octopus, ah, ah, ah. And you remember how many tentacles an octopus has? Let's see if you remember, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and octa means eight. And what about this letter, remember that one? That's our capital P, like in Penelope Pig, and our lowercase p, the p makes the p sound, like in paint, and puppy, and popcorn. P is for paint, p, p, p. P is for paint, p, p, p. And do you remember this letter? That's the letter Q. We have our capital Q and our lowercase q. The q makes the qu sound like queen and quiet and quilt. And what about this one? Remember this next letter? That's the letter R. We have our capital R, our lowercase r, and the R makes the er sound. You know what animal this is? This is a raccoon. And the R is for raccoon and run and race. R is for raccoon, er, er, er. R for raccoon, er, er, er. And what about this letter? Do you remember this one? That's our letter S. We have our capital S and our lowercase s. It makes the s sound like in sun and soup and soap. S is for sun, s, s, s. s is for sun, s, s, s. And how about this one? Remember that letter? That's our capital T and our lowercase t. It makes the t sound like in table and teeth and toothpaste and tiger. T is for table, t, t, t. T is for table, t, t, t. And what about that one? Remember that letter? That's our letter U. We have our capital U and our lowercase u. The U has two sounds, like the uh, sound like an umbrella and under, and the U sound like an unicorn. U for umbrella, uh, uh, uh. U is for umbrella, uh, uh, uh. And what about this one? Do you remember what that letter is? That's a letter V, our capital V and lowercase v. It makes the V sound like in vest and victor and vulture and valentine. V is for vest, V, V, V. V is for vest, V, V, V. And do you remember this letter? That's our letter W. We have our capital W and our lowercase w. The W makes the W sound like in web and witch and walrus and walrus mark. W is for web, wa wa wa. W is for web, wa wa wa. And remember what this letter is? That's our letter X. Now remember the X has a couple sounds. It makes the X sound like an X-ray or the Z sound like in the beginning of xylophone. And usually we have the letter X at the end, like at the end of box and box, and it makes that X sound. X is for X-ray, X, X, X. X is for X-ray, X, X, X. And what about this one? That's the one we did last week. We have our capital Y and lowercase y. The Y makes the Y sound like in yo-yo and yarn and yard and oh, yawn. Y is for yo-yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. Y is for yo-yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. And the letter we're working with this week, this last letter of the alphabet, is the letter Z. Okay, you know what this is? This is a zipper. And the letter Z, we have our capital and lowercase z. Z makes the z sound like in zipper. And it also makes the z sound like in zebra. Okay, and it makes the z sound like in zoo. And today we're actually going to read a book called The Zippity Zoo. Have any of you ever been to a zoo? 
A zoo is a place where there's lots of different animals from all over the world. So we're going to read this story called Zippity Zoo, and we're going to listen for that Z sound, the letter Z. Okay, now we see on our front cover here, okay, we have our capital Z, our big Z, and we're going to be reading our story first, and then we'll do it with the music, okay? All right. Here we go. Let's take a trip to Zanzibar, away across the sea. Zanzibar is very, very far away. Where there's zillions of things that begin with Z. Zillions. Can you count to a zillion? I can't count to a zillion. Zillions are, that's more than a million, more than a billion, more than a trillion. I can't even count to a zillion. That's a lot. Wow. Zillions. Like Zelda the zebra and Zachary too, zipped up in stripes at the Zippity Zoo. And here we see Zelda the zebra and there's Zachary. Okay, and they're zipped up. They're zippers. Zigzagging through the zinnias, the bees go zap. Okay, see this this little line here? Huh? Can you take a good look at that? All right. This is called a zigzag. When something goes back and forth like that, okay, you see it? That's called a zigzag. And these flowers are called zinnias. So this squiggly line here, that's called a zigzag. Goes right and left and right and left and right and left, okay? So that's zigzag, and these are zinnias, these flowers. So those begin with the letter Z. Waking all the zany bears from their long winter's nap. And here's zany. It's kind of like a silly word for silly. And the bees are going buzz. Can you make that sound like a bee? Buzz. There's no time for snoozing. There's work to do. All right, and there's the bees buzzing again, buzz, trying to wake up the bears. Snoozing is like they're sleeping. Springtime has come to the Zippity Zoo. And here's our name of our zoo, Zippity Zoo. All right, so now we're going to do it with our song. Now, this is kind of a fast song, so we have to see if we can get those pages turned quick enough. I'll put the song on, and we'll do our best. Okay, you ready? All right, let's turn this back on. And here it comes. Okay, there we go. Here it goes. You ready? We've had such fun reading our big books on Zippity Zippity Zoo. Wonderland. Let's take one last journey through Zippity Zoo to say goodbye to all our Leaf World friends. Oh, could we? Great idea. Let's take a trip to Zanzibar away across the sea where the zillions of things that begin with C like Zelda the zebra and Zachary too. Zipped up in stripes at the Zippity Zoo. Zigzagging through the zinnias, the bees go zap. Waking all the zany bears from their long winter's nap. There's no time for snoozing, there's work to do. Springtime has come to the Zippity Zoo. Ready? Let's take a trip to Zanzibar away across the sea Where there's zillions of things that begin with C Like Zelda the zebra and Zachary too Zipped up in stripes at the Zippity Zoo Zigzagging through the zinnias, the bees go zap Waking all the zany bears from their long winter's nap. There's no time for snoozing, there's work to do. Springtime has come to the Zippity Zoo. Everyone sing goodbye to your leapfrog friends. Let's take a trip to Zanzibar away across the sea. Where the zillions of things that begin with Z. Like 
Zig Zelda the zebra and Zachary too. Zipped up in stripes at the Zippity Zoo. Zigzagging through the zinnias, the bees go zap. Waking all the zany bears from their long winter's nap. There's no time for snoozing, there's work to do. Springtime has come to the Zippity Zoo. All right, so what letter is this? The letter Z. Remember, the Z makes the Z sound, all right? So we had lots of things that began with the letter Z. Now, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna be working with that letter, the letter Z. We're going to make the letter Z, and then we're going to be looking for the letter Z, and we'll do a few things with it, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this paper here, and we're gonna make the letter Z. Now, the letter Z, starts at the top and it goes across the top slant down to the bottom and then goes across the bottom again okay it goes right left right all right so we put this up here and we're going to do this one first and i'll show you how we're going to do this okay So first thing we're going to do is with your finger, start at the dot, and you go across the top, slant to the bottom, and across. Okay, so it's right, left, right. And the little one goes the same way, the lowercase. Start at the dot, goes across, slant down, slide across. Okay, so here we go. This is a zebra for Zach. We know that zebra and Zach begin with the letter Z. So let's trace our letter Z first. Okay, we're going to start at the dot, and we're going to go across. Stay on your dotted line, slant all the way to the bottom, and then slide across again. There's our capital Z, and our lowercase z, start at the dot, and we're going to slide across, slant down, and go across. All right, now let's see if we can find our z's at the top of the page. Okay, let's look across. You see that there? All right, that's our lowercase z, like this one. So let's circle that. Okay, a zebra for Zach. And you see our capital Z there? Okay, we always use a capital letter for someone's beginning of someone's name. A zebra for Zach. So here's our letter Z. So that's the first thing we're going to do. And now we're going to do a different one. Okay, so put this aside. And now we're going to take this paper here. Okay. And here we see a zebra and we see a zipper. Okay, do any of you have any zippers on your clothes today? Okay, so we have zebra and zipper. And what we're gonna do with this, we've done this lots of times, we're gonna do like a rainbow trace using all different color letters. I mean, um, different colors crayons. All right, so we're gonna start with our lighter color first. Okay, and again, we go across the top, slant to the bottom and across. Across, slant down, across, okay? Right, left, right, right, left, right. Okay, so we're gonna take our crayons. Let's start with our yellow one, because that's our lightest color. And you ready? Let's go across to the right, slant down to the left, and across to the right. Okay, that's our letter Z, our capital Z. Our lower case Z goes the same way. Across the top, slant to the bottom, and across. Left, right, uh, right, left, right. Okay, let's take our orange crayon and do it again. Right, slant to the left, and across to the right. Slide to the right, slant down to the left, go across to the right. All right, here we go again, you ready? Go across the top, across to the right, slant down to the left, across to the right. Let's do the lowercase one. Slide to the right, slant down to the left, across to the right. Okay, let's take our green crayon now. You ready? All right, let's do it again. Right, left, right. And what sound does a Z make? Z. Right, left, right. All right, let's try our blue crayon. You have your blue crayon ready? Here we go. Slide to the right, slant down to the left, 
slide to the right one more time slide to the right slant down to the left slide to the right and we'll take one more crayon we'll take our purple crayon and we'll do it one more time you ready here we go slide to the right slant down to the left slide to the right one more time slide to the right slant down to the left and slide to the right so what letter did we work work with what letter is this the letter Z and Z makes the Z sound like in zebra and zipper all right so there's one more thing we're gonna do one more paper we're gonna do and that paper is this one here okay now usually zebras we know zebras are striped well we can't make spots with stripes so that's kind of crazy so we're gonna be making spots on our zebra instead of stripes okay down on the bottom first thing we're going to do is we're going to trace our letter Z okay go to the right slant down to the left and slide to the right again and one more time go to the right slant down to the left and slide to the right so it says Z is for zebra okay Z is for zebra and we're gonna find the Z's in our paper here okay we've done this lots of times with a lot of our other letters and we're gonna look at all the letters hiding and find the letter Z okay and if you have a daughter you can use your daughter if you don't have a daughter just color it in okay we've done this before so let's go across and we'll try to find all of our letter Z's okay is this a Z all right that's the letter E you don't want that one how about that remember that letter that's a lowercase L should we mark it no what about that yes that's our capital Z so we're gonna put a mark on there and what about this one does that look like the lowercase Z yes okay so we're gonna mark this okay remember that letter that's an F what about this one that's our capital H now look at this one ah that's our capital N and the capital N kind of looks like the Z but on a on the, on going the other direction it's kind of on the sides we don't want that one and that's our letter U okay let's come down a little bit how about this letter what letter is that yes that's our capital Z so let's mark it and what about this next to that that's another capital Z let's mark that one let's come all the way over here do you remember this letter this is the one we worked with last week that's our capital Y what about this one that's our lowercase Z let's put a mark on it and what about this one that's our lowercase a should we mark it no come down to the next row what letter are we working with the capital Z so let's mark that one and what letter is this one that's our letter C and how about this one remember that letter that's our capital W should we mark it no and what about this one yes that's our lowercase Z good job put a mark on there and do you remember this one that's our letter X okay come down to the bottom what letter is this one capital P should we mark that no and this one is a capital Z let's mark that one and here we have a J and here's a lowercase Z let's mark this one and what letter is that that's a capital B should we mark it and this last one what letter is that that's a lowercase Z okay let's put a mark on that one and now let's go back and we're gonna count how many Z's we found you ready one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so what letter are we working with the letter Z and we're gonna do a lot of work with the letter Z this week okay